I've decided not to get the vaccine. It's troubling that it seems freedoms are being taken away. I've decided not to take it based on what I feel is best for me. Okay, great. Um, I like that you said you decided to do something that feels best for you. But I, the first thing you said was that it seems as though freedoms are being taken away. There's only one freedom. There's only one freedom. And that's to be absolutely aligned with the divinity of you. The one who knows who you are as free. Everything else is a version, a human version of freedom, being right rather than happy, being uh, the one who has this say or that say. So all of the challenges that people are experiencing now in having opinions about whether or not someone has the vaccine is because they're already not free. They're already looking at the world for an answer. So if you align with the truth of who you are, and you can really see within yourself that that's possible for you to stay 100% aligned with the divine, then you're all set. No matter what the divine, the divine will tell you what to do. Personally, I didn't do anything until I asked the divine. And you know what I heard? Whatever, Maureen, you're aligned with the divine. Do whatever feels fine for you. And so for me, I'd rather not promote fear in other people. So I chose that if everything's fine and I'm going to be fine, I'm not a body, I'm free, then I'm just going to go along with the zeitgeist, whatever makes people feel the most peaceful and what I feel is the most respectful. And so all along during the pandemic, I've worn a mask just because I know that that's kind to some people who can feel really vulnerable and scared. And I can smile with my eyes. I've gotten good at learning how to smile with my eyes. And I allow myself to know that there are times when in my life, I don't feel 100% connected the way that I you know, did during a near-death experience or when I'm in the heart of God or when I'm in the throes of meditation and I'm in an ecstasy space like that. I know degrees of separation and I walk myself right back up to the divinity of me immediately if possible. But if there's anything that pulls me away enough, I know that I'm in a place of separation. So in that case, do what you got to do the same way Jesus said that take the pill if it doesn't promote fear, do the things that you do that make you feel most comfortable and less set up to be vulnerable. It has to be a personal choice, but I say that the divinity of us always tells us to do what's a win-win always tells us to do what's not just a win for you, like being free. How are you going to be free all by yourself? Because if you're the only one that's free and everybody else is in prison, then you have to shut off your own capacity to love and to be compassionate and to be aware. So that's not free. If you do what feels like win-win and feels like love all around, you can't lose. And believe me, I, I know what the divine was saying to me when it said, whatever, Maureen. Because whatever, as long as I'm aligned 100% with the divine and I go with the intention of any time I go out into the world of form with other bodies, engaging with other bodies, that I'm doing so from a loving and connected intention, then everyone in my sphere is going to be healed by my presence. And I will choose what's free for everyone, free for all. And for me to show up respectfully feels to me as though that's the most freeing thing I can do in my life during a pandemic. Other than that, you know, if I really got told not to take the vaccine, if that was what I got told inwardly, then I'd be sure that I'm going to be whole up writing a book or I'm going to be doing something in my own world that keeps me from promoting fear in anyone else. And I'd be happy and occupied with that in a way that I'd know the divine just said, this is what's personally perfect for you. But I do believe that if people connected with themselves and saw that as the ultimate freedom, they wouldn't feel so um, obsessed with making everyone right or wrong out there. 
by their actions. We don't know what other people are experiencing inside of them. So I say respect the voice of your own best interest, because if it's the true voice of your own best interest, it's going to be win-win. It will always be the voice of love, unconditional love all around. And you can be sure of that one thing. <laughs>